someone with a very clear motive. And maybe you're like, Pastor, what's the difference? Don't kid yourself. Pastor, I need to know what the difference is between this and that. Don't kid yourself. You and I both know exactly where the line is and, and when we cross it. Again, don't, don't, don't kid yourself. We know the difference. And get this with sin, and the first step, it almost always starts out with something so small. As we've been saying so often, it starts with something that feels so harmless and cute. It looks and appears to the, to, the, to the naked eye as being completely innocent. And also at first, it almost always feels good as well. At first, it almost always feels good to cut corners at work. I mean, I mean you're finally getting ahead and you're actually proud of yourself for figuring out a way to run something without your supervisor seeing it. At first, it feels so good to talk badly about someone else. It's almost like a drug, isn't it? It's like, it just feels so good to tear someone else down. They're succeeding and I'm not, and so I'm gonna try to tear them down as much as I possibly can. At, at first, it feels so good to be noticed by someone. Unlike your spouse that only notices when you screw up, unlike your spouse that's only there to constantly complain and nag at first, it just feels so good. But one more time, if you haven't heard, it's all a trap. It's all a trap. And it might seem cute and harmless, and innocent, you might feel like you're in complete control, but again, it is enticing you, and it is dragging you, it is all just a cell. It's, it's dragging you away, and where it leads to is death. Sin leads to, to death, and so just to ask all of us another question that, that's, that's fairly heavy, I just want to ask, what are you doing right now that you know is sin, but it just hasn't killed you yet? Again, I just want to ask across to all of our campuses, myself included, what are you doing right now that you know it's sin, you know it's wrong, you know it's not God's best for your life, but it just hasn't killed you yet. And maybe you're still in the season of it's fun and it's an adventure and you feel like you're getting away. And